Humans are now the dominant force on Earth. We are a big world on a small planet. Today, human activities threaten our global commons, the shared resources that ensure a habitable planet. The rapidly warming Arctic, dying coral reefs, destructive global wildfires, and even the ongoing pandemic are some of the clearest signals yet that we are destabilizing vital natural systems and undermining our own well-being. The need to better understand the interconnections between the environment and human societies has never been greater. Now, the Earth Commission is bringing together leading researchers from around the world to establish scientific guardrails to maintain Earth's life support systems. The more we learn of the Earth system, the more we realize that we are at risk of crossing tipping points, irreversible thresholds that could push us away from the desired state to support humanity. Fundamentally, we've never been at this juncture before where we are at risk of, of, of pulling the rug under the feet of our ability to support human well-being. And, and that is the entry point for the Earth Commission. The Earth Commission is trying to figure out whether we can come up with these targets for systems beyond climate change. In the area of climate change, we already have the target of 1.5 to 2 degrees. But in other areas like biodiversity, in the area of land degradation, in the area of fresh water and oceans, we still have to figure out what kind of targets are necessary. So countries have taken all sorts of commitments, you know, at the global level with the climate convention, with the sustainable development goals. But then what happens down to smaller scale, local governments, down to cities, down to companies? And so the focus of the Earth Commission on, well, identifying the targets to begin with and then partitioning those out amongst different stakeholder groups, to me is an attractive thing to contribute to because potentially it can have a huge amount of impact to motivate the change that uh, everybody should be a part of. The hardships that people will face in five or 10 or 50 years time will depend a lot on how soon we identify solutions and how soon we implement them. I think having people coming from all sorts of different disciplines is a frontier in global sustainability science in terms of how you can bring social science and natural science together and in a truly integrated manner and come up with one single product. The primary outcome we should be looking for is to have some sort of transformational change in the way that governments and people think about climate and think about environment. We need to influence the lives of the decision makers. We need to influence the way that young people think about the environment. The Earth Commission, a venture of the Global Commons Alliance and Future Earth, is the first holistic attempt to define a safe and just operating space for humans on planet Earth. This groundbreaking effort will provide the foundation for the science-based targets network to develop roadmaps for cities and businesses around the globe to accelerate transformations to sustainability. Together, we can build a better future for people and the planet.